when you think about what your portfolio is, it's everything that you're interested in, everything that you do. It demonstrates um, how students think, how they work, it demonstrates their ideas and their methods, how they handle materials. It shows us uh, the various skills that we're looking to see that we wouldn't normally see through written form. So what we're expecting to see in a portfolio is all those other things that students may find themselves interested in. Are they interested in painting? Are they interested in narrative, storytelling? Are they interested in animation? Are they interested in film? Are they interested in literature? We're looking for a mix of both digital and physical portfolios. Both are valid, both can be done really well. Sometimes there are sort of very tangible skills that we're interested in. Skills such as drawing, their drawing skills, their sensitivity to colour, use of fabric. Things like sketchbooks, journals, um, evidence of life drawing. We're excited to see students try new things. So we don't put limits on the type of work that students want to put in their portfolio. Uh, what we're really looking for is a sequence which shows development. Definitely much more interested in the research and the process, the design process and documentation. If we just see the final piece alone, that in itself is not that helpful in terms of assessing a student's portfolio. We don't want to see everything. And part of an applicant's preparation for showing a portfolio is their ability to edit it and to take things out which are not relevant. It's important that students spend time mounting and presenting their work in a professional manner. Sometimes I think students don't want to put work into a por portfolio that they don't like. One of the things we actually like to see is when an applicant's work isn't going well and how they're actually trying to resolve some of those things through the work. But I think we would be interested to have a conversation about why they don't like it. That would be a good thing to talk about in an interview. We won't necessarily expect you to bring large objects with you and struggle with lots and lots of bags and a, and a van full of um, objects. Think about photographing things really well. We know it won't be exactly the same, and we know that it's not exactly what you want, but we would rely on you to be able to interpret those photographs and tell us what it is about them and about the work. We'd be really interested also to learn what students have been reading, the kinds of films that they have been watching, and um, any exhibitions and gallery visits that they've made. Don't apply for a course without researching it, researching the kind of programmes that it offers and the kind of students that it's generated. Look for the students who've graduated from that course. Be familiar with what we're, we're offering and how you fit with that because it has to work both ways.